Well, 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 what's going on guys? Welcome back to Dark Souls 3 Part 5. Today we're going to be wrapping up some major loose ends in the Cathedral of the Deep. We're going to be riding an elevator up. We're going to be checking out the treasure that Patches, the beloved Patches, was uh, referring to, if it even exists. And we're also going to be grabbing uh, our souls back. I mean, hopefully they're still there. I, I haven't checked back. And after we're done wrapping up all the loose ends, uh, we're going into Farron Keep. Jam-packed episode. I hope you're excited. Also, you guys were telling me that apparently I don't own the DLCs. I thought that the version of Dark Souls 3 that I bought came with it, uh, mainly because of the price, but I guess not. Apparently, there was a certain NPC that was supposed to appear at the first chapel. I have bought the DLCs, both of them. Sent me back a couple beans. We've done every DLC in all of the games, and for me, it's been some of the best parts of each of the games, so obviously, we were going to do it anyways. I just thought I already owned them. It's all solved. Thank you to everyone that brought it up. And without further ado, baby, let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so here we are, Deacons of the Deep. I'm gonna go, uh, you know, get my souls back. Hey! I don't know why I'm excited. I literally, I knew I, I left him here. Is everybody all right? Everybody breathe. Breathe with me. I saw a couple of you guys were a little stressed. You know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I did that to you. That's kind of hard. <laughs> I'm the Pope. White crown worn by Archdeacon of the Cathedral of the Deep. Presented solely to delegates of the gods. Is it Archdeacons or Archdeacons? Uh, I'm not too sure. Of the three Archdeacons of the Deep, one cast off his white crown and left the cathedral to stand by Aldrich. Right. So we're like in the pursuit of Aldrich, basically. We thought he was going to be here. He ended up not being here. And now we found out that another one of these boyos is with them now we're still chasing him honestly i feel like this is the first time that we've had something like this happen in one of these games where we're like actively chasing a boss and i i think that's like the coolest thing ever man look at all the peeps up top this is one of the first bosses that like genuinely like fucking scared me and i'm not just saying that dude it actually fucking scared me when all the lights went out and oh it's probably this one think carefully I'm thinking so carefully right now. Maybe I gotta put on the freaking dudes, uh, the dudes, the stuff. Let's read this too. Holy garb worn by an archdeacon of the Cathedral of the Deep, a sign of the Way of White's highest rank. Of the three archdeacons of the Deep, one stood over Aldrich's casket with hope that he would return one day. Skirt worn by archdeacon of the Cathedral of the Deep, worn underneath holy garb of the archdeacons of the Deep, one attended to Rosaria, mother of rebirth whom he deemed a goddess. It's funny, because I said in the last episode that this fight reminded me of, like, the first... <laughs> I look ridiculous. Uh, I mentioned that this fight reminded me of the first phase of Renala, and then Renala ended up being the one that gives you, like, your rebirth, your respecking. So I wonder if this Rosaria is uh, the one that's going to allow us to respec. Let's go back, buy some stuff, and then we'll head over to the chapel, talk to the new NPC. Hopefully he's there, or she. And then we'll hit up the elevator. Sound good? Sound good. I've also noticed, guys, that my face looks absolutely hideous, and I think it's linked to the strength thing that this dude keeps giving me. But you guys keep telling me to come back here, uh, so I'm guessing this quest line is going to be pretty good. Uh, so I got to keep doing Our it, man. Champion of Ash, welcome back. Thank you, brother. I would do anything for my master. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this guy. All right, draw out true strength. This, this will be the third one that we extract from him. Of the dark sign. Let your true strength Let's see if my face changes. Shine. Let's do some vigor, yes. Actually, I'm gonna do some dex because I want to try a new sword in this episode. Shall we begin? Oh wait, can I just do it again? Oh shit, I can just do another one? Okay. Alright, that's four then. Man, I think I still look the same. Then shall we begin? <laughs> I can just keep going? I'm scared that I'm like fucking this up somehow, so I'm just gonna leave for now. Alright, let me see. <laughs> Thank you, brother. <laughs> I really like this guy. Let me see if we can find this dark uh, thing in our inventory. Oh, here we go. Dark sigil accumulates curse. Huh. <laughs> Lovely. A black gaping hole in the flesh that resembles the brand of an undead. The darkness of humanity seeps from this bottomless pitch black hole. The gap filled by the accumulation of the curse. This dark sigil will never heal, but there is a tale told of a firekeeper who returned from the abyss and brought great comfort to a bearer of the curse. Bearer of the curse. 
seek souls that's really really cool and it seems that we can just grab the fifth one right now you guys have just told me to keep coming back to the guy before we fight the next boss so let's go run some errands and then we'll come back we'll get the uh we'll get however many he, this buddy has left because i'm scared we just took two like back to back without going out into the world it's probably fine but i'm an overthinker by you guys' enthusiasm it seems like it's a major fucking quest line so i really don't want to fuck it up but i also don't want to look it up because i might ruin it you know so let's talk to the boy here oh hello you're back and in one piece yes Apparently I missed something here. The Zaihander. <laughs> the Zaihander is back, guys. Buddy actually went out into the world and got it for us. Um, same with the Bastard Sword, the Long Sword, a couple of classics, you know? This one, that looks pretty awesome too. See, I feel like Dark Souls 1 players either go for like the Zaihander or the Claymore. From what I've seen, some memes, um, like Zaihander people fighting against Claymore people. I was a Claymore kind of guy, so this didn't get me that excited when I saw it. Hence why you guys thought I missed it, but uh, it's pretty sick. Pretty awesome that we have it here. An ultra great sword with a large long blade wielded with two hands yet still requiring extra strength due to its weight. Execute powerful attacks that take advantage of its weight or utilize its sharp blade and thrust attack. I'm also gonna change. I do not like this outfit. <laughs> oh my god, dude, I look like shit. All right, guys, change of plans. We're gonna be buying the Zyander because I didn't really try it in Dark Souls 1. Let's just give it a shot, man. Give me this. Big bonky sword, baby. All right, we're gonna be rocking this for this episode. Let's see, let's, let's see if we can have some fun with it, man. Let's see if we can reinforce it. Yes, we can. All right, awesome. Can we infuse it? I don't think we've really tried infusing any weapons in like the previous games, but this looks kind of cool, man. Oh, it changes the attribute bonus. That's that's kind of sick. So, oh, okay. So the heavy gem, obviously, okay. It makes it so it's more scalable with strength. That's, that's what I'm getting from that. Seems like we only need one and we have two. So I'm just going to do it, guys. There we go, baby. I hope I did that right. And apparently, guys, my intuition was correct that we didn't give the dark book to the to the blind lady. So I'm really happy about that. It just felt like one of those from self moments where they try and play you. So uh, let me do one last little look around. Maybe we have some new NPCs. We haven't talked to this guy in a while. So let me let me check in with Gaming him. Gaining admission to the Legion is a matter of some ceremony. Okay. Inside their keep, snuffing out the flames of three altars. Right. He already told us this. the door to the wolf blood. Nice. Even accursed undead want to believe they're special, it seems. I pity the sorry souls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, buddy. I wonder if we'll have to fight them at some point like we did the one from Dark Souls 1. We've checked down there with the boy. Yes. We got the blind lady over here. My queen. The two homies that were here are now gone. Oh, nice. We have not talked to you, I don't think. Unkindled, are we? I think, I think we might have actually. And fast on the trail of the Lords of Scondit. Then these red eyes are for you. Sick. Use them to pillage embers and briefly heighten your strength for your duty. Thank you, kind sir. What else are unkindled ashes good for? <laughs> I believe those are for like invading other players, which is kind of cool. I guess we can use those to get more uh, more embers. Online play item allows a single invasion of another world. Defeat the host of embers of the world you have invaded to gain the strength of fire. Cracked red orb is far from perfect, it seems, as ring finger Leonhard knows all too well. We also haven't really checked outside in a little while or out here. So let me check this place out and then we'll head out into the world, guys. Fucking love that giant tree right there. Reminds me of the good old Dark Souls 2 days, like two weeks ago. Let's see if there's anything out here. Ah, oh, look at this thing, man. Oh, examine. The fuck? Seed of a giant tree. Was that there the whole time? Makes enemies react to invaders. The giant trees were also known as watcher trees and their seeds unmask invaders. When used effectively, these seeds will help counter dark spirits. Oh shit. Is this something that we can like use or something? Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> makes enemies react to invaders so enemies would attack the invaders basically is that how that works we have not gone this key yet this i believe is a shortcut that we haven't been able to get yet this we tried to get up here but it never worked oh shit okay bro this sword looks so fucking cool on my back oh my god i love how it literally has a spot between like those two not blades but you know what i mean like for the shoulder and then we have the outside here which i feel like eventually they might put like an npc or two out here because why why wouldn't they right i wonder if that naked dude is gonna be there still nope 
He's not. You love to see it. It's just the door. I feel like I should be saving up for that key, the 20,000 key. I really want to see what's what's beyond this, you know? Let's kill our first enemy with the Zyander. Let's fucking go, baby! Let's see what the weapon art is. Oh, damn. Okay, that's kind of cool. Just a sick little step. Stomp. Use one's weight to lunge forward with a low stance and increase poise and follow with strong attack for an upward slash. So you go boom, boom. Ah, it's sick. Oh, there's literally an item up there. Holy shit. Okay, I'm guessing we're gonna be able to access that um, after we get on the tower. I feel like there's so much yet to be discovered of this place. The lovely Firelink Shrine. All right, let's head over to the chapel, see if that new NPC is there now that we've bought the two uh, DLCs, and then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Oh. Merciful goddess, mother of the fallen, <laughs> who have no place to call their own. He's here. Please bear witness to our resolve. <laughs> Fire for Ariandel. Ariandel, right, that was the name of the Fire thing that I bought. Sick. Ariandel. Right. And the ash. To kindle flame. Hell yeah. You alright, pal? I'm here to save you. Oh my god. Alright, he's going through it, guys. Seems a little bit constipated. Wait. You've... You've the same scent as that woman. What? <laughs> then you must be an action one. You wanna you stand up, pal? Oh. He seems excited. You don't know how long I've searched. Oh. I'm here, boss. No need to cry. <laughs> Do you have anything else to say, pal? Oh. Don't mind me. Didn't mean to fall apart. <laughs> Now, Ashen One, I have a kindness to ask of you. Sure thing, man. Fire My away. He lives in the cold land of Ariandel. I need you to show her flame. A proper flame that will burn the rot away. Millennium? If you truly are Ash, then it must be fire that you seek. Of course. <gasps> Obviously, we gotta accept, right? Sure thing, brother. Oh, cutscene. Ah, uh, thank you. Of course. Day of Ash never fail. Just a moment, then. The painting of Ariandel. Well, rotted scrap of it, that is. Oh. Go on. Take it. Man, are, are we getting thrown into the DLC already? This reminds you of the painting of uh, Annalise. I think it was her name. Dude, that's literally the same sound effect when we went through the painting in Anorlando. That's awesome. Holy shit. All right, guys. Scrap all the other plans for the episode. We're doing the DLC. <laughs> I hope that was obviously the right decision, right? If I refuse, like, would I have gone a refund? It's like 20 bucks. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Obviously, DLCs are meant to be played after the game, right? But at least maybe let's check it out. I'm not scared you are. It's a long-ass loading screen. Goddamn. Oh, shit. What the fuck? <laughs> are you an enemy? Hmm. The fuck is happening, bro? Is that Scarlet Rod? How you doing, pal? Huh? Huh? You all right? Uh, have you just arrived? Yes. How very unusual. Just how long has it been? Rejoice, my new friend. For this is a true haven of the forlorn. The forlorn. The cold and gentle painted world of Ariandel. Sounds pretty cool. Go along. Find one for yourself. A sweetly rotting bed to lie upon. Ah. Ah. Weird, yes, man. Of course. You're no exception. We've all seen 
terrible things. But you're safe now. Let it ease your burden. How do you expect Carrying me to do that when you look like that? Find a home for you. So yeah, you think so? Go on ahead. Find one for yourself. Jesus a Christ. sickly rotting bed to lie upon. Well, that sounds lovely. Thank you. Quick. Go along. A sweetly. All right. I'll do what you tell me, sir. Rhyme blue moss clump. Is that against... Uh, I'm going to guess that's something against frost. Reduces frost buildup. Cures frostbite status. Moss clump radiating gentle heat and light. Reduces frost buildup. Cures frostbite status. Frost accumulates in the body, causing frostbite, which saps one's health. Uh, lowers absorption and slows stamina recovery. Weapons imbued with frost are a rare thing indeed. Most of them originating in the Boreal Valley. All right. Well, guys, I guess we're going to check out this world and then head back to the main game. Never joined a, I've never joined the DLC this early in a game before. Paint the world of Ariandel. Ah, oh, dude. <laughs> I'm getting flashbacks. <laughs> I'm getting flashbacks. Is this the frigid outskirts all over again? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, something to look forward to I guess. I don't want to dive too deep into this because obviously we're not... I feel like we're probably... A snowfield, oh my god. I feel like we're most likely probably very under leveled because we just started the game. Uh, well, we got like 10-11 hours into it, but... Let's check it out. I got 95 souls, so... Oh damn, this is cool as hell. Oh shit. What was that? Oh, hello, good sir. That. I'm just gonna pick this up real quick if that's cool with you. Thank you. Alright, let's try the Zyhander on a real enemy here. Trash. Bam. I gotta get used to this heavy shit. Oh my god, look how much health he took from me. That's crazy. <laughs> Alright. Alright, alright. I think we should head back. We got many things to do. We can save this for later. I just, I, I just can't stop, man. Hello, sir. Oh wow. Okay. All right. Very nice. Very nice. What the fuck is that? Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Fuck. Okay. I don't, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Thank you. All right. I'm cool to head back now. We have seen enough. I've seen enough. Yeezer. Bye bye. Glad we checked that out, guys. Now I see why so many of you were so concerned uh, that that NPC didn't show up. We've seen him. Uh, we've joined the painted world. Now it's time to head back to, to the main game. All right. Let's head back to the chapel because I did miss something in the cemetery. I noticed while I was editing. Um, I was just fucking running away from the skelly boyos, but I noticed we missed a little entrance. So want to check that out and then we'll head over to the elevator. Is this boyo going to be here? No, but we don't we don't actually need him anymore. Of course, there's a visions of hole. Yep, it makes yeah, it makes perfect sense. Oh, oh my God, is the. Uh. Anyone there? Anyone at all? <laughs> the fuck? I'm right here. Oh. oh my God, it's the Onion Man. I know that voice. Just how long has it been? It's the Naked Onion Man. It's me. <laughs> the <Ufer to> <laughs> Fucking patches. Someone's swiped my arm. Buddy, I got plenty. I got you. Did you happen to see it anywhere? Yes. Yes. Oh, what the fuck? Is that that's the only option? Haven't seen it. Oh fuck, I guess I I guess I haven't seen it. Because Patches is probably still wearing it. Oh. Yes. Should I have cancelled that? Not to worry. Great planning begets great fortune. An old tenant of the Knights of Katarina. <laughs> and I am a master planner. I don't Bro, this is the funniest thing. <laughs> did he put himself there because he's naked? Or did Pat just throw him in there? I think Pat just probably threw him in there, no? I'm in quite a pickle. <laughs> yeah, this is the biggest pickle you've been in, brother. Maybe I can fashion a replacement from... Uh, for me, bro, I got you. Can I just throw him some, some outfits? I have to use my head and think. 
<laughs> this guy's got the same dialogue in every situation. Do nothing? Okay, so clearly we have to find this thing for him. And by that, I mean find Patches and murder him. I'm joking. I'll probably... In the last episode, I said I was going to find him and kill him. We're not going to be doing that, all right? We haven't killed Patches in any other games because usually he's got some pretty cool stuff. Um, you know, a quest line of his own. So... We're gonna be following it for sure. Also, in the last episode, I, I I didn't really know why they were throwing up, but it makes sense. They're maggots. They're dead. It makes sense why they're, I guess, throwing up maggots. I love that these are just one shot now. It makes me feel very good. I'll probably be equipping a torch. All right, these guys are just gonna keep coming back. So this is why I ran in the last episode. I'm remembering now. I think we took a lefty here. This is where we found the Astora sword. Yep, over there. And then what I missed, I believe, was down here. Yes, 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 right here. Yo. All right, and what we missed was all of this, baby. All right, perfect. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna drop here. Hopefully none of those big boyos come out, because uh, I don't got my torch on yet. Oh, shit. <laughs> the Executioner's Greatsword. That sounds incredible, dude. Okay. All right. All right. You know what? No, 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 no. Let me, let me through. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. God. I should have ran the other way, but now it's too late. We're just going to go from here. We're fucking good. Oh, I forgot about you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Gotta get rid of this one first. Ah, horrible. <laughs> Gotta get used to the Zyhander. Nice. Okay, you know what? We gotta, we gotta double hand this thing. Yeah, big jump. Trash, trash, trash. Beautiful. Small butt. Ooh, baby. Great sort of a debauched. That's definitely butchering that. Executioner used for beheadings. Nice. This sword retains a keen memory of its executioner's duty and absorbs FP from each fallen hoe. Foe! <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, that's never happened before. FP from each fallen foe. Stomp. Use one's weight to... Okay, so similar skill as the... Um, that's the Zyanda. Absorbs FP from each fallen foe. That's actually awesome. Let's see what this looks like in hand. Very cool. I thought it was going to be bigger, to be honest, but pretty sweet. And we got the stats for it, I believe. And we got the stats for it. Absolutely awesome, man. Love finding new weapons. All right, let's go to the elevator, which... I'll, I'll, okay, I ended up cutting it out of the video because after the fact, after I realized that I missed the whole area, uh, I was a little embarrassed, but I'll tell you guys now because it's over. I found the elevator. I went up the elevator, and then I thought in my silly little brain after, I mean, I had been recording for almost three hours, so I was a little fried towards the end, um, but I thought that I had already been there, you know, because that makes sense. You know, you find a whole new door. Um, after exploring the entire map and you get to it and you ride an elevator up and you think you've already been there because that makes complete fucking sense, right? No, it doesn't. It doesn't make sense. I'm just I'm just kind of slow sometimes, you know, um, I, I made it to this window and I said, oh, I guess it is the path that we had already been taken But I didn't I definitely didn't see this this little corner here. So let's ride it up. See what we find and uh after that, we'll probably do fair and keep today, because we're doing good on time today, guys. We're doing very good on time. How you doing, good sir? Yep. Goodbye. All right, so it seems like we're doing a little bit more parkouring. And we got a deep ring. Allows attunement of additional spells. A ring bestowed upon the deacons of the Cathedral of the Deep. Allows attunement of additional spells. In the Cathedral slumber things most terrible, and as such, the deacons require a grand narrative to ensure they do not falter in their duty. A philosophy to ward away the madness beckoned by the grotesqueries at hand. 
nice. A lot of cool words in that paragraph. Reddit. See, I think we're dropping here. You know what? We're probably gonna have to jump. I'm gonna end up dying here like an idiot. This is easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Light work. All right, we're heading up here, guys. Let's go. Oh. Oh, hi. I heard you sniffing. Ah. Okay. You are an idiot, good sir. Trash. I fucking love this sword. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> all right. All right. Oh, no. Oh, I'm alive. First death of the episode, it's fine. <laughs> it's impossible to fall to your death and not feel like the biggest buffoon on the planet, man. Everybody put Fs in the comments, man. F, R, I, P, L, whatever streamers ask their chat to say. You guys are my chat for the day. <laughs> Fuck. I gotta get used to the Cyander, man. Oh, are you friendly? Ask me if I care. Let's try to fight this guy. Where the fuck does this guy go? Did he fall? Shit, I think he fell. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> That's convenient. Today's episode is full of surprises, guys. Full of surprises. And we have yet to find a hidden wall. One day I will, and I'm going to freak out. Freak out. Oh, it's beautiful. Hi. Idiot. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god, we're... Oh, that's so fucking cool. Okay, I didn't even notice there was like a hole upstairs to this, to that room, man. Oh, this is gonna be sick. As long as we don't fall, of course. Gonna try my hardest to parkour my way. All right, let's just finish off the outside here. And then we'll go, we'll head inside. Hey, buddy. Bye, buddy. I'm getting the hang of those guys, man. Literally nothing? Are you, are you serious? Everyone keeps falling. It's kind of hilarious. You guys should know this place better than me. Well, actually, I did fall. I am no better. Any more surprises? Oh, shit. Oh, I wonder if we can smack those chandeliers down and kill the giants that way. That would be pretty sick. We shall see. What the fuck was that? Okay. Someone threw fire at me. Oh, I see you, bitch. I see you. You know what? I'm not going to let you do that to me. No, sir. I am not one for surprises. There we go. Gonna keep those throwing knives on deck. Deck! What would this be? Arbalist. Is there one on top of me? Fuck, that was terrifying. The largest crossbow and suitably powerful for its size. The bow string it's, is made of metal, requiring great strength to fire. Skill tackle. Lunge into a shoulder attack, pushing back enemies to cr uh, create distance. What the fuck is a shoulder attack? Okay, pretty self-explanatory. I don't know why I was confused about that. Seems like we're almost at the end of the road here. Is this gonna be some kind of trap, buddy? Why are you so calm? You wanna fight me? Okay. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. No, no, no. You cut that out. Thank you, buddy. Another pale tongue, baby. Delicious. That is sarcasm. Some of you guys don't seem to get sarcasm when I say... A lot of the things I say. We have three of these. Proof of invaders, a victory over a host of embers. Claiming tongues as trophies was originally the practice of an inf infamous troop of invaders who offer them uh, to their speechless goddess. Kind of hardcore though, they collect uh, tongues, I gotta say. All right, we're gonna go in here. Oh my God. Yeah, I did not notice all of these freaking arches here. It's a beautiful uh, beautiful arrangement uh, for, the, for the ceiling. This is awesome. Hey, <laughs> we got really tough enemies, as usual. Fucking love it. Let's, uh... Let's kill the, the, the easy guys first. Oh my god. Okay, it seems like there's a flat surface over there that we can fight on. I like that. I really just don't want to fall, man. That would be the, the absolute worst. Idiot. Oh, come on now. Bam! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, don't freak out, don't freak out, don't freak out, don't freak out, don't freak out. I'm not freaking out, you are. We're good. We're laughing, baby. We can fight from here. Actually, can I just knock him off with some, uh... No. 
That is not gonna push him off. <laughs> That'd be silly as fuck. <laughs> a blessed gem! Hell yeah. Alright, brother. Let's fucking go. Let's tango. Okay. Oh, damn, big heads. Oh, no. Ugh. Okay, take your time. Take your time. Let's go, baby. Oh, we can we can knock him off. We can knock him off. We can knock him off. Sorry. Nice. Oh, God. That is not how you use that. You try to kick me. How dare you? I am the chosen one. But you don't know that. Uh. All right, all right. We're down to one flask. This is horrible. Uh. Actually, maybe there'll be a bonfire up here. The one that we were looking for for like so long in the last episode, maybe it'll be somewhere up here. <laughs> that would be pretty clutch. A gem of infused titanite, commonly known as a charm kept by saints, used in infusion to create blessed weapons, especially blessed weapons uh, gradually restore HP and heavily damage reanimated foes. Gradually resource HP. I like that. I'll tell you that. Any any HP related bonuses. I absolutely love. Um, I don't think these chandeliers would actually land on the giant. Um, although it was a cool idea on paper, I don't think it's going to work out. I feel like the only way really is... Uh, ah, man, I don't want to fight this dude. Look how sketchy this fucking thing is. Yeah, we probably just have to keep going. I think down there's where we met patches, right? And then he brought down the bridge. Alrighty, guys. Seems like the only way is uh, through this here, which we might be able to skip that boy. Oh. Ah, you're a fucking coward. You suck, pal. You absolutely suck. I'm heading this way. Fuck. It's literally a dead end, isn't it? Yep. Fuck, he's coming. All right, so only way really is which which way is the way, man? Over there by that ledge, that could be it. No, we're safe. We're safe. Nobody stress. Nobody stress. Oh my God, we can't go. We can't actually go this way. Oh no! Is that patches? This is good, this is progress. Okay, so it seems like that's the way to get across the bridge, because I didn't see a lever last time to pull that, that main bridge up. The one that Patches, I think, brought up. The only one we, that we could do was one on the left side, the one that got us to Patches, but it seems that we can probably drop there and maybe talk to him again, see what's over there. Dude, I can't believe we missed all this shit, man. Well, no, I can see it, I can see how. What's up, dude? Ah, oh, that's too much. No, that's perfect. Oh my God, I just spat on my microphone. Go, 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 go. Perfect. All right, so let's... Oh, okay. See? There's a little... Okay. There's a little platform right there. I feel like that's the one. Shield up, man. Try me again, bitch. Actually, don't. Don't. Please don't. Right where the message is. Whee! Love a dude! Uh, which way do I go? Which way? Uh, probably right here. Okay. This is definitely new stuff. Fuck yeah, dude! All right. Got us a little, uh... Is that Patches? He's not wearing the, the Onion Man shit. Very interesting. Oh, it's these disgusting fucking creatures, man. Oh. I was hoping there would only be that one there. Are you trying to get me to kill Patches, dude? It's not gonna fucking work. I need you, I need you to come this way a little bit more. Please. Guys, I don't think that's Patches. I think that's just another bald guy. <laughs> Unless he fucking stole some other person's uh, armor. What's going on, dude? Huh? Y yes, hello. It is Patches. Oh, I don't believe we've met. Yeah, we definitely did, dude. I'm Patches. Yep. Unbreakable Patches. Hey, you try to kill me. But you seem to be unkindled. Do you have business with me? <laughs> yeah, your head. <laughs> you know who I am. Yes, of course. It's coming back to me now. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. That was my hand, as you know. But but the deed, well, that was the armor's doing. Mm. Regrettable, truly. I'm gonna need but that back, sir. I'm stripped clean of that unruly attire. And look at you. Not a scratch. No, I'm chilling. All's well that ends well, right? Yes, we'll be fine. I can tell. It's that rotten curse. It is. 
the untidy mess. <laughs> <laughs> Prostration. Sick. Patches really is the only character that kind of lives in every universe, right? Like with the same name, same like, you know, personality, characteristics. Uh, I guess you could say the same about like the Onion Man and like some other characters, but he's the only one that actually keeps his name. It's kind of cool. And I've also heard that Patches is also in like the really, really old From Software games, like PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, uh, which is really, really cool. Um, I don't, it must be some kind of studio inside joke or something. Or well, they just kept with it for so many years that it's just become a thing. Pretty cool. Prostration. <laughs> the suffering pose. All right. Talk to me, pal. Oh, uh, uh, yes. Now, it wasn't me, but, but, but you still deserve an apology. Nah, I'll take it. Just a little trinket. Go ahead. It's yours now. This better be good, man. Oh, classic. <laughs> <laughs> still fucking trolling. Uh, you should know, I'm a kind of uh, traveling merchant. Cool, yeah. Go to Firelink Shrine. If you're as unkindled as you look, you'll find plenty of good stuff. Hell yeah. Lots of goodies, man. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Fuck, is he gonna make me buy it? Like, is the quest line for the Onion Man to literally buy his shit and then bring it to him? That's expensive, man. <laughs> Distinctively shaped helm worn by the Knights of Katarina, often ridiculed for its onion-like shape, infuriating the country's proud knights, but the masterfully forged curved design uh, makes it very effective for deflecting blows. Yeah. All right, awesome. I guess, I guess we'll probably, yeah, have to end up buying it. Well, fuck it. Give me the helm. Thank you. Thanks, good comp. Yeah, thank you, man. Oh, yes. Can't resist it, can you? <laughs> <laughs> Just wanted to see if you had more dialogue, to be honest. Can't find anything in well, You could try looking a little harder. No, I'm good on that. Well, yes, I'm, I'm really happy about this. I think we progressed uh, patches and we definitely progressed the Onion Man. And uh, there's still a little path here that we can take. And I'm going to race this. Because why the hell not? Fuck yeah, man. I believe that's really everything that we missed. Oh, right. No, you know, there's more. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that's a lot of slugs, man. Uh, all right. Yeah, we're going to have to go through this, obviously. But I think we covered pretty much everything. We bought the DLCs. We found the NPC. We got our souls. We did the well. We did patches. The rooftop. Okay, we're doing fantastic. Just trying to remember everything, man. All those are gonna fall on my face for sure. All right, pal. Disgusting. At least they're not bad to kill. I just, I just, okay. These need to drop on me already, dude. I can't do this. I hate when shit's about to drop on me. Oh, okay, that's not too bad. Damn! <laughs> they're like all bubbly and shit, bro. Not in the good way. <laughs> this is disgusting. Oh my god! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, this sucks. All right, we're, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. One at a time, one at a time, one at a time. There we go. Wow, they really outdid themselves with this with this enemy design. I gotta say, oh shit, nope, I'm good on that. Ugh. I can't even tell which ones are dead, which ones are alive. They all just keep fucking bubbling. Oh. Oh, these are gnarly, dude. I feel like this would make for a really comfy couch, though. You know what I'm saying? They look, they look squishy. <laughs> All right, we got one more. Maybe that door will open. Are you a, are you a friend or what, what's up with you, man? You want a kiss? A little kissy kiss. Hi, oh, it's an elder. Hello, good sir. I feel like I shouldn't kill this guy. Item ahead, therefore time for attacking. <laughs> All right, give him the finger. Goodbye. I hope he wasn't like an NPC or something. No, he was. Red sign, soapstone. All right, success. Could this be the bonfire that I so desperately needed in the last episode? Maybe. Actually, we didn't really need it because all the shortcuts were fantastic, but there is a bonfire there. Holy shit, this looks fucking cool. Bro, this is a beautiful room. 
okay, that character's got to be really important because this is absolutely stunning. I shall rest. Rosaria. Rosaria's bedchamber. Who? Rosaria. We were just reading an item that that said the fucking thing with Rosaria, didn't we? Oh, it was the, uh, it was, it was, it was the clothing. It was the clothing. My memory is finally not betraying me here. It was the skirt, wasn't it? Of the Archdeacons of the Deep, one attended to Rosaria, mother of rebirth, whom he deemed a goddess. Okay, shit, dude. All right, so this is, I, I, my intuition tells me this is where we are going to be able to respec. Oh, shit. Oh my god, is she sitting on one of them? What the f*** did I just say, bro? The couches! It would make for a great couch! Let's go! Nice foot, my lady. I'm gonna cover it, because you guys are all a bunch of sickos. Chest ahead. Yes, indeed. Ask to join Covenant. Absolutely. Let's do it. Are we friends now? Got our fingers, hell yeah. You have obtained proof of the covenant. Offer pay- Oh, this is why the pale tongues. I see. And- and we can rebirth. That's fucking awesome. Reallocate attributes, alter appearance- appearance- appearance. Alter appearance. The price of rebirth is paid in pale tongues. Rebirth can be performed five more times during this lifetime. Do you wish to be reborn? No. Should we give her a pale tongue? I mean, what am I gonna do with a fucking tongue? Covenant allegiance deepened. Well, guys, that is pretty fantastic, man. Kind of wish she had something to say, but it's all good. This is look. This looks like a comfy, uh, comfy bed. It's a beautiful bedroom you got here, my lady. Goddamn. Oh, there's. Where's the baby? She had a baby. Is that what you're holding? Your baby turned into the orphan of cause. I'm trying to see her face. No joy ahead, only tears. Great way to end the tying up of loose ends. Uh, we did everything. We did the cemetery. We did patches. We did the onion man, which I feel like we should go back now that I found his helmet. Let's see. Let's let's head over to the to the chapel real quick. Just I just want to see. Maybe he'll say something. My dude, I got your helmet. Okay, he doesn't care about it. Let's go back to Firelink Shrine. Perhaps patches will be there, and then after that we'll be heading over to uh, to Farron Keep. We'll go check it out, man. I like this eye hander. It's been it's been it's been fun. I, li I like the the heaviness of it. It's very strong too, and it's different. We've never really used one of those. So why do you look like you want to fight? What's up with you, huh? Mm. I see that oh. you are now a finger of Rosaria. Wait, this is someone new, isn't it? Your path is wholly different to mine. No, no, we've met her before. Gentle and kindled, I bid you farewell. Oh no. If we meet again, it will be as adversaries. Oh shit, did I just ruin her quest line? Gentle and Kindle, if we meet again, it will be as adversaries. She wasn't here last time we were here. So there's no there's nothing we could have talked about or anything. If you wanna fight, we can fight later. I don't give a fuck. Let's read what these fingers are all about. <laughs> that sounds really weird. You guys told me that this game is very easy to fuck up quest lines. Uh, so there's always a second playthrough. <laughs> Sacred seal of Arc Deacon Klimt, who served Rosaria, mother of rebirth, equipped to pledge oneself to the Rosaria's fingers covenant. Rosaria's fingers collect tongues in her name. Some do it to be reborn, others do it to help comfort their voiceless goddess. Their voiceless goddess. Okay, so we'll never hear her speak. Every decision I make in this game, I feel like I'm just fucking the entire thing up. I think I have PTSD from Elden Ring when I accidentally turned myself into the Lord of the Frenzied Flame by complete accident, even though it's one of the hardest things to do. I did it by accident. Anyways, uh, let's head over to Farron Keep. It's time, baby. It's time. You guys have told me this is, uh, this is this is where the fun begins. I'm guessing it's gonna be pretty stressful. <laughs> <laughs> also, some of you guys said that the item that the boyo dropped uh, when he fell with me could still be up here. So I kind of want to check. The weapon would respawn where he was originally. So let's see if it's still there. Apparently it's one of the best weapons in the game. So it's, I, I don't want to miss that. That's probably it. <laughs> there we go. Exile Greatsword. Holy shit, that sounds cool. Bloodstained Greatsword wielded by one of the watchdogs of Farron, who, pres who preside over the slumber of fallen warriors. The blade is a reminder of the Exile's past misdeeds. And human strength is required to wield this heaviest of curved greatswords. Skill Spin Slash. Oh, this thing is beautiful. 
That's awesome, dude. Whoa! That's pretty sick. All right, shit. That's okay. But we need 24 strength. That might be like a later in the playthrough type weapon. All right, I guess it's time to head over to Farron Keep, which is just down there. Looks, looks, uh, it doesn't look that shabby, to be honest. Doesn't look that bad. There's also that Black Knight of Gwyn over in the building to the left, which we can fight him later. All right. Ah, all right, I guess it is time, baby. Farron Keep, here we come. Nice. <laughs> what a lovely place. <laughs> uh, ha. All right, so we're probably probably need to go towards the flames, right? There's one right here. <laughs> it's not really a flame. It's more of a little bonfire. But are these the enemies we're gonna be dealing with? Extinguish three flames and open the door to Wolf's blood. Right. That's what the boy was saying. Good stuff. Uh, we're just gonna be dealing with slugs, clearly. So. Fun stuff. Let's not get shot. That's probably gonna be poison. Uh, oh, maybe not, actually. Okay, okay, I can deal with that. I, I like that. Ragged mask. I think we already have one of those, actually. No, we don't. Give it to me, then. Alright, guys. Let's head over to uh, to the flames. Guess is this the 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 infamous like swamp place of uh, of Dark Souls Three? What the fuck is that? Is that a horse? No, 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 no that's definitely. Nah, <laughs> could be a duck. <laughs> My God, this feels like it could totally be the infamous place. Like every game has that poison area. Uh, poison area. This could be it. It's kind of a vibe. I'm getting this item. Skedaddle. Skedfuckedaddle. Hey, that's the shard. Good shit. I feel like I should totally equip my uh, purple moss clumps, just in case we do get poison. I'm gonna do it right now. We only have three, so let's make them count, baby. That's the way I came from. I'm gonna head this way. Yeah. Bro, what the fuck are these? Can someone tell me in the comments? There could be deers. There could be demons. You could be humans with a with a mask. Fuck do I know, man? This place is creepy as shit. Can we break these? Okay. <laughs> Prism stones to light the way. This is pretty disgusting. I'm gonna go for that item. No items get left behind. Go 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 go. Thank you. All right, man. Kind of killing it. Kind of killing it. As long as nothing comes out of this uh, mud here, poison, water, poop, poop, uh, we shall be good, man. I can deal with these little slugs. I can deal with them. I see a staircase over there leading to a flame, so let's go take care of that. Can we go in here somehow? Nope. That was a good shot, though. Oh, I see. So the fire. Okay, got it. The fire on each island just leads to, to the bigger fire, the bigger flame, which is pretty sick. What's up, guys? Hello there. I'm new in town. It's good to see you. <laughs> Super cool design, man. Oh, are these the ones that are burning on the, on the, I think these, no, these look different. I think. I don't know. Kind of look like Morgoth from behind with that little brown cape, and and like all the, yo, these kind of look like Morgoth. The fell omen, I think I'm saying that right, with the thorns and the and the cape and shit. It's kind of cool. Extinguish flame. All right, that's what we're supposed to be doing, right? Oh my god, and we we are extinguishing thy flame, like he says. Is there is there a little parallel here, or am I totally missing the mark here? No, I think I'm on to some guys. I think I'm definitely on to something. He was born in Farron Keep. Confirmed. I am the Dark Souls lore master now. Vadi Video, you got nothing on me, pal. Fucking, I'm fucking loving these connections, guys. I really, I'm really happy that we played them, that we played these games in this order. It's, it's really fulfilling, I gotta say. <laughs> fulfilling. 
extremely fulfilling, life-changing indeed. I am gonna go extinguish the die flame. I just want to see what's down here. Probably gonna lead to. Okay, this is probably the road to to the other flame. Let's extinguish it. Oh God. Oh, he did it the cool way. He didn't blow it. He just fucking put it out. Oh God. Bye-bye. Oh, shit. Yo, a lot of cutscenes in this game. I like that. It's also getting dark outside. It's almost night time. Oh, shit. All right. The wolf door is almost open. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so awesome, dude. All right, guys. Well, let me see what else we missed over here, and then we'll head over uh, to that other side there. Oh, man, this actually... Oh, this game is different, guys. This game is different. I know that was, like, the little... Like, I, I know that was, like, the littlest, shortest little cutscene, but shit like that just gets me so excited, man. Oh, God. There's no, there's no safety here. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, wait. All oh, right. Can I... Is this safety? Oh my god, it kind of is. No, it's not. No, it's not. That doesn't work. Okay, nice. It's all good. It's all good. It's totally fine. Nothing to worry about. Whoo! Alright. Okay, pal. Holy shit, his weapon is so cool. What the fuck? Ugh. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I fucking love this eye hander, guys. Now I understand why it's such a classic. Can I please get his armor or at least weapon? No, of course not. Uh, Sage is cool. Nice. We can take that to our boy, Alfred. <laughs> See another fire over there. I wonder if that's gonna take us to the to another flame. I feel like I should get rid of this poison, but honestly, the buildup or the like the the like. The rate at which we're dying is honestly not even that bad compared to like Dark Souls 1 and, and the other games. Did we miss an item? Fuck, we did. Fuck it, we're already poisoned. Thank you. Stone Parma. Got some Parmesan, let's go. Is it bad that I'm actually really enjoying traversing this, this land here? Like for a poison swamp, this is actually like a pretty cool execution. I like it. And the fact that we gotta light up these uh, these beacons or whatever, kind of a cool, kind of a cool little thing. It's like the warning beacons of Gondor, except we gotta unlit them. The beacons are unlit! <laughs> God, it's such a bad fucking joke. Ah, I'm almost there! There we go, baby. Not. Bro, these characters are getting more and more bloodborne. -y. Bloodborne. Has anyone ever said that? No! That was kind of sick. I respect it. Alright, I'm gonna continue going to the left. Even though there's a whole sh thing here on the right as well. Oh, there's an item. I feel like we might split this one into two, guys. This area, because uh, it seems like it's quite large. I wish I could have... wish I could see a fucking map of it, but... Maps usually come with spoilers, so we're not checking any maps. We're doing this blind as hell. All right, so we went that way. Yeah, up there was the first little light. And then we continued this way. At least they have, like, this uh, perimeter here with the big wall. It's kind of a good indicator that, you know, we're at the edge of the, of the thing here. All right, now we just got to kill this boyo. Ouch. Nice. Big bonk. God, one day I would love to, to own, like, a Dark Souls sword. Same with, like, you know, Lord of the Rings swords and shit. They make these, like, replicas, man. Uh, sometimes I just check those websites and just, like, dream of the day that I could own, like, a like a full-on, like, replica of one of these swords. I would love to get the Psyhander. <laughs> that would be awesome. Or even the Claymore, just for nostalgic purposes. It'd be so sick just to have that shit hanging on the wall, you know? Not to actually use, of course. That would be dangerous. 
Uh. Gotcha. Gotcha, bitch. Okay, just don't get grabbed again. You can do this. You can do this! Oh, luckily I healed. Dude, you gotta be done. You gotta be done. Thank you. <laughs> Yo, that was close. That was a close one, guys. Oh, I think we might be at the... Yeah, we're at the next flame already. Alright, dude, we're doing fantastic progress over here. Is there something back here? Oh, I shouldn't be rolling, eh? Oh, what the fuck are those? Oh, shit. Those like giant trees. Why is this glowing? Interesting. <laughs> I think it's probably just a glitch, but those have to be guarding something like really good. They're probably tough as shit to kill, though. Hey, buddy. Ouch. Hell yeah, bro. Let's go. Holy shit. All right. Oh, there's a bonfire. Oh. Okay, we should probably do this. Let's do this before we... Uh, oh, my God. This is going to be tough. No, it's not. I'm a pro. Ah. 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 Let's go, baby. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeebee! <laughs> Did I just say yeebee, bro? <laughs> it's a fucking cartoon over here. Alright, let's sit down. Enjoy our peace. This is fantastic. This is phenomenal. I'm a big fan of this area, guys. I think out of all the swamp areas, this might be my favorite. Mainly because of the unkindling of the flames or whatever. It's 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 a cool it's a cool little mechanic. Um, I'm gonna go- I should've fucking did it before sitting down. <laughs> we gotta kill these enemies again. Let's go to Firelink Shrine real quick. Uh, level up. And then we'll head back out there, man. This is- this is lovely. This is really fun to me. Oh, we actually can't reinforce it right now, so... Use as a shard to re- Oh yeah, we have an Estus shard! Let's go! Let me get a couple fire bombs. Not 220. That would be ridiculous. Maybe a couple ambers? Why not? All right, let's actually do the strength thing right now. Let's uh, let's do our fifth one. Our champion of ash. Yes, I sir. I'm back, baby. Then shall we begin? Of course. Of the dark side. Give me thy strength, brother. Thank you very much. It seems that like we can keep on doing it, though. Oh. You have attained ample strength. All right, seems like that's it. Alrighty, say no more, pal. Seems like we're done with that, guys. Time to head back out into the world. Time to extinguish thy flame. Yeah, no, these are so reminiscent of fucking Margot, bro. Margot, Margot. Okay. Yeah, they're killing it, dude. Killing it! <laughs> now we have nine flasks. This is, this is good stuff, man. Yes, I'm being poisoned, but you know what? I don't give a fuck. I'm just here to extinguish the flame. What are you doing? Oh, you're healing, aren't you? I'm trying to heal from this. Spanky spank. All right. Perhaps we'll get another cutscene. That would be awesome. A different cutscene if we survive this. Trash. Love it. Fucking love this sword. All right, let's do this. Extinguish flame. One more to go, baby. Nice. Holy smokes. Scary door. Seems like they were trying to break in. Clearly they failed. Should I go and try and kill these tree boyos? I feel like that'd be kind of fun. Oh! All right. All right. Give me the item. Oh, it's just a poison gem? <laughs> Bro, I can't even fucking see, man. <laughs> Alright, I think those are the ones that were uh, on the sticks. They, they actually look like, you know, fucking, not horses, but they got that same face. Well, that was a failure. There was a lot of shit down there, though. Let's see if we can get there again. Professional runner, baby. I'm a runner, I'm a track star. Okay, so not trees. Uh, terrifying. Okay. We got a little bridge down here. No problemo. I'm just exploring, guys. That's a dead end. 
Oh god, I don't even want to look behind me. Oh, we can't run here! Oh no! <laughs> ah. Fuck! Oh, there's something up here it seems though. And down here. Thank you. Wolf's blood sword grass. What the fuck? That sounds awesome. Alright, alright, don't kill me here, please. Please, 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 please. Please! Okay, that works. Ah! <laughs> Buddy. You're gonna have to go around, man. <laughs> oh shit, drink Estes soup. Fuck, man. Sunlight Talisk, sick. Oh shit, I drank it. Okay, fuck it, whatever. <laughs> nice. <laughs> wow, that's kinda sick. All right, well, I drank the soup. Are these messages gonna tell me not to drink it? Soup. Okay, everyone seems pretty excited about the soup, so I'm going to be excited, too. Uh, let's just keep going this way, man. We're already poisoned. There's nothing to lose. And I want to find all the items. So another giant boyo, which is fucking terrifying. I don't, oh, my God. He's got to be guarding some great. Oh, my God. 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 Nice. Killing it! <laughs> Is this game uh, the same in the fact that if you roll, you get poisoned faster or whatever? I know we're already poisoned, but... I guess we can try it once we get unpoisoned. Oh! Nameless Night Helm, name... Dude! Is this a bad place to read? Yes, definitely. Oh, there's a big-ass ladder over there. That's interesting. Oh, baby, that looks... Oh, that... Is that gonna be the last flame? Oh, shit! Oh, Brad, it seems like we're doing quite well here, guys. Don't get too cocky, though. Thank you. Oh, God. You guys done? Thank you. <laughs> I'm a big fan of these enemies, man. Undead Bone Shard. Let's go. Bye-bye. Okay, so, seems to- Oh, that's the door! Sick! Alrighty, so that's the door we got. we're gonna get open and in just a second. I feel like this ladder would probably lead to that last, uh, last flame. That would be awesome. Nice, nice. Yes, goodbye. You can never tell if they're fully dead for like a little while. They like deflate, okay, there we go. Guys, are we doing well? Let me know down below. I'm sure we probably miss some items like we usually do, but I think we're traversing this place, uh, you know, pretty nicely. Holy shit, this is beautiful, man. Oh, yeah, this has got to be the last flame. Unless, let's check. Oh, no. Okay, that's it. Never mind. <laughs> that's why it's good to get some high ground. This looks promising, though. This could be something cool. Dude, we're like under the fucking bridge. That's so awesome. Oh, baby. How you doing? Good to see you, pal. Ah, finally. God damn, I got it first try. Let's go. Try a hint. Oh, is this going to be the first illus illusory uh, illusion wall? Fuck yeah. Guys, we did it. We found the first wall. Oh shit, should we be- Oh, there's a bonfire right there, what the fuck? I thought the wolf was gonna be on the other side of the wall. The- the door. Shit. Alright guys, hold up. We got some reading to do. A leaf signifying a duty fulfilled by the watchdogs of Farron, who stand beside the old wolf to ensure the serenity of those at rest, depicts a sword grass leaf stained with dried blood. Long ago, the Swordgrass Leaf quietly identified members of the Undead Legion in the rotted forest rest the spirits of warriors past. Their acceptance of and gratitude towards their guardians is expressed eloquently by the Humble Leaf. Shout out the Humble Leaf, man. We got the Dream Chaser's ashes as well. Umbral ash of one who dreamt of joining the Undead Legion. With this, the Shrine Handmaid will prepare new items. In the end, the Dream Chasers who wandered aimlessly in the rotted forest found a sense of fulfillment. All right, we'll give that to the Handmaiden. We also got the Nameless Night Helm. Helm of a Nameless King crafted with... Uh, thin metal greatly reinforced by a grooved finish. Is that the same helmet that we get in DS1 if you choose the the knight? Dude, I'm rocking the shit out of this. Hold up. Going back to old ways, guys. Old ways. All right, let's check in with this wolf. I don't think this is going to be the uh, 
the boss. <laughs> That'd be kind of crazy. Hello, good sir. Oh shit. Oh, that ghost fucking scared the shit out of me. Should I be talking to you first? Are you friendly? Try old Codger. Codger? Pray to old wolf of Farron. Ah. Cool. Another covenant. Fuck it. We're joining all the covenants today, guys. Alright, nice. I don't think he's gonna get up, though, which is quite sad. Alright, buddy. Someone stood on his back. That's crazy. That's disrespectful, man. How do I do it? The third bonfire of this place. Old Wolf of Farron. Let's see where this takes us. Probably back down. Oh, no. Going up. I'm ready for it. This is gonna be a sick view, isn't it? Oh. Oh, shit. We're so high. Oh, I think I missed an item down there. <laughs> Look at the horizon, man. Wow. The earth truly is flat. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh my God. I know where we are. I know, where dude, we're on the other side of the bridge now. Oh my God, dude. Is that the asylum demon? <laughs> oh shit, dude. How sick is that? I remember there was an item and a dragon that we saw when we went into the uh, undead settlement. Uh, where's the lever? Is there a lever? Uh, oh, this looks promising. Haha. -ha. Okay. We're taking a bit of a detour here, guys. This is just too cool not to explore. Oh shit, there's the dragon. Okay. Seems pretty safe so far. I'm gonna get this little lizard boy up. Yo. Yeah. I really hope this dragon doesn't get up, but I also really do. Dragon crest shield, sick. The lightning spear! <laughs> no way! Oh, sh oh, you want me to hit the dragon, don't you? Oh, should I? Okay, hold up. Ah. Oh. Do I really care about this? Okay, it's gone. <laughs> I mean, no, it's it's clearly dead. He wouldn't be just fucking sitting there. Or maybe he would. I don't know. A lot of little uh, little lizard boyos. Oh, God. You're going to run into a fucking trap, aren't you? No, buddy. You don't got to do that. Trash. Ouch. We got us a little, uh, little balcony here. I wonder if we can shoot that thing from here. This is awesome, dude. This game has fantastic level design. I'm probably gonna be saying that till the end. Uh, unless it gets, like, shitty, but I, I doubt that it's gonna get shitty if this is literally what we're getting 10 hours in. Ugh. Is the lever on this side? Actually, we don't really need a lever. Oh, we do got a little friend here, though. Are you an NPC? No. Okay. All your friends are back there, though, you know? You might want to head back. All right, guys. Just for the sake of time, I'm going to head back down and uh, get that third flame. And hopefully we just get to fight the boss uh, right after that. You guys know I don't like to end episodes uh, with no boss. And this is not the way back. Classic. Might have to homeward bone. Oh, literally right there. Yep, got it. Oh, no! Jesus Christ. We'll definitely fight it in the next episode. I really just want to finish off the Farron Keep down below. Like I said, you guys have been hyping up this boss like, so much. Let's go figure this thing out, man. Back down we go. The flame is, okay, literally just dead straight from here. We can do this. There are gonna be, yep. Hi, guys. <laughs> Yo, move. Thank you. Oh, no. Okay, I'm gonna have to roll, guys. Okay, I think you do get poisoned faster when you're rolling this one, too. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Go, 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 go. Oh, no. Hello. You guys are cool as fuck, man. Uh, perfect. Almost there. Almost there. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah, please. Please. <laughs> Damn. It's a lot of health. All right. Oh, they're coming up here too. <laughs> oh, shit. Save me, cutscene. Thank God. Oh, that was close. That was close, boys. The third and final flame. The beacons are unlit. Let's go. The door shall be, should open now. Unless there's a fourth flame. Oh. 
We did it. Come on, give me the boss. Give me the boss. That's that's gonna be the road to the boss, right? Holy shit! A lot of candles, man. <laughs> I'm excited. Oh shit! They didn't get rid of them. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, little bonfire, Homer Bone. That's nice. Okay, you know what? Let's try and fight these guys. It can't be that hard. Oh! <laughs> Shit. The door. Where was this door? I think it was over here, right? Yeah, 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 we just gotta take a lefty. Take a lefty from the ladder. Woo! Ah, fuck it. Uh, get away from it! All right, guys, here we go, man. Hopefully the boss is, like, right here. I need a boss in my life. I really do. Uh, if we miss anything important, as always, you know, we can... Oh, wait, what is this? Hold up a second, man. This looks interesting. Uh... Oh, shit, this is such a better bonfire to start off from. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate that. All right, gang. We're starting off from this bonfire. Hopefully, this is this is the boss's bonfire. There could be a little bit more of a hike to the boss. Um, we shall see, man. We shall see, man. What? <laughs> I don't know where that one came from. This is beautiful. What the fuck? Okay, we got some more creatures up above. Uh, have we seen those before? Oh shit, there's a lot. Uh, what's going on, guys? Doing a little bit of a prayer there to, to the homie up top. That's kind of cool. Okay, yep, he wants to kill me. Um, boss, 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 boss. Oh no! Those fuckers are back! Oh god, okay. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Yeah, this is, this is a hike. Okay, that door has got to be the boss. Yes. I'm just scoping the place out. I'm just scoping the place out. Yep, I know I got tons of peeps on my back. No problem. Got us a little amber. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a shit show, dude. At least there's no poison. Oh, only three? No problem. Ah, one of those boys is actually pretty tough. Oh, he's fighting them too. Oh, let's go. Are we homies? Nope, no, we're not. Yo, that's so clutch. I like that. Shit, we got the dark armor? Alright. Armor of the dark ra- Oh, that's such a- Okay, that's dope. Relics of a small country that fell to the dark long ago. Looks as if it may crumble to dust at any moment. The dark wraiths were the oldest of the red-eye invaders and rumored to have served a prim primordial serpent. No way. Oh, should I put it on? Should I be putting this on? Said it's gonna break and- I'm gonna go back to my to my old armor. Primordial Serpent. That's supposed to be uh, not Frank, but the other one, right? The one that we never actually met. That's pretty sweet. All right, I'm gonna try and open this door without dying. That would be fucking awesome. Uh, yeah. I'm hearing some gnarly sounds coming from somewhere. I wonder if it's in here. <laughs> there we go, baby. <laughs> Give me a boss, man. Come on, that's all I want. Oh, this is total. Oh, this is it. This is it. This is it. Ah, uh, I missed that. I'm back there. Ah, uh, fuck it, guys. You know, we can always go back, man. I just really, I just really want to get into a boss fight right now. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Oh, my God. Are these good? Are these the boyos? There's like five of them in the uh, cinematic. Oh shit. Are you a hunter? This literally looks like a Bloodborne character. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Let's go. I'm terrified. Oh, yes it is. Nice. Nice. Okay. Okay. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, another one's getting out, dude. <laughs> oh, what? One health bar, though? Okay. Let's listen to the music, man. I think we might be fighting three right now, yeah? <laughs> oh my god, dude. Okay. Wait, are they fighting each other? What the fuck? What is happening? Oh god. Why are they fighting each other? It's literally counting towards the health bar. <laughs> what is happening? Guys, fight me! Oh shit, I take that back. Oh, this music is so fire! I don't want it to end already! What the fuck? I'm so confused. I'm gonna end up dying out of confusion. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, <laughs> all right, there's more. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Dude, don't play with my emotions like that. Oh my God, look how many there are. Now the real fight begins. All right, all right, you have me there for a second. All right, little bell ringing in the background. All right, baby, let's fucking go. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. I'm at two flasks, and now I'm at zero flasks. Well, no, I still got two. I'm at zero health. <laughs> Alright. I was a little bit confused. Now it's just it's game on, baby. Alright, get through that little first phase, and then we'll tackle the second one, man. That music was beautiful, man. It just felt like it, it, it felt like it was like building up to something. It's probably gonna happen like halfway through the, through the second phase, but... Super fucking cool, man. Now I get why there were so many in the in the cinematic. I was like, there's no chance we're gonna be fighting like five bosses at once. That'd be crazy. But it makes it makes sense now why there's so many. I mean, who knows? We might still be getting uh, some 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 more peeps alongside this guy. But it seems like he like absorbed all his all their energy or something. This is a crazy run back. I don't know. We actually managed to get through it pretty nicely this first attempt. But let's let's do this thing, man. All right, so we still gotta go through this face, no problem. Yeah, kick them. Keep kicking fucking people by accident. Nice. Yeah, torch definitely the way to go, pal. Oh, this is this is this the first face? Yeah, it is. No, why is no one getting up? Oh, here we go. Okay. So we can honestly just let them fight each other. <laughs> okay, maybe not. <laughs> Uh... Okay, alright, this is getting ridiculous. Hold up. Guys. Okay, let's just be as careful as we were in the first phase, for the, for the first attempt. Key to success. Patience. Ah! Shit. Bro, stop breaking my stance. No shield, baby. No shield. Oh. This is a beautiful fucking song. Woo! Okay, beat me to it. 
Oh my god! Uh. This might be the. F I think this might be the first boss that I've used the Zyander for. And uh, I think we're, we're doing alright. We're doing alright, but just go easy on me, guys. Uh. I'm used to a little bit of a faster pace! Bro, I have no flask for the second phase. I just took that in. <laughs> oh, this is horrible. This is horrible. All right, let's watch it one more time. <sighs> you know what? We might be able to do this, guys. We might be able to do this. Why is this guy so special that he gets all the... What is it? Blood? I don't know. Their souls. Red souls. Holy shit. I want that armor so bad, dude. I think it's awesome. Alright, let's focus. Here we go. Good start. <laughs> ah! Whoa! That's awesome! <laughs> Fuck, dude. <laughs> it's like Lady Maria's fucking thingy majiggy. Oh my god, dude, this is crazy. I don't have anything to, to, to heal with. How do you like fire, pal? <laughs> Bad idea. Yep. Alright. We might be here a minute, guys. Well, I just gotta get to the second phase with some heals. That's really that's really the key here. Here, maybe if we go up here it might be better. Nope, it's literally just a dead end. Yep. Sorry, wizard. I didn't mean to disrupt you. Oh god. Okay, okay, okay. Pretty good so far. There's no bonfire here, right? That'd be kinda crazy, but like not useful. Maybe up here? Fuck, that actually would be awesome if they gave us a bonfire here, but definitely not. Definitely not. Okay. No problem. No problem at all. No problem at all. Alright. Here we go, baby. Should I pop an amber? Yeah, fuck it. We got like 20. One second, pal. <laughs> that worked. Ah. Ah. I can't say shit. Let's go. Alright, as long as we start the second phase with some flasks, we'll be good to go. Ouch. Oh no. Oh no! Oh, thank god. Alright, do your thing, guys. Oh! Actually... The health does not go down when they're just fighting each other. I think we have to still fight this, like, specific one. There we go. Seven flask. Let's go, baby. All right, this is the one. Third time's a charm. I am going to skip this. We've seen it twice. I need to keep the hype going, baby. Come on. Let's, go Let's do this. Gotta watch out for that fire spin. Yep. That is so fucking cool, man. Okay, he leaves a trail behind that. Ah. No! Oh my god. <laughs> this guy's nuts. I'm already at four flasks. He's almost at halfway, though. Oh my god, I couldn't see him. That's my excuse. No! Bro, he's so cool. And by that I mean so strong. Okay, he's got like that triple combo. Nice. Go. Let's go, baby. 
Don't celebrate too early. I'm fucked. No, I'm not. I feel like the song hasn't kicked in though. I want to hear it. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait a bit. This guy is so fucking cool, man. I'm really just admiring it out here. Oh, did you see that look he gave me? <laughs> that was awesome. Alright, fuck it, guys. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, can you imagine he had killed me there? That would've been bad. Let's go! Lords of Cinder, Abyss Watchers. Guys, in the bag. Three char three charms. <laughs> three times the charm. Design-wise, I think for sure my favorite boss so far. Just his spiral swing fiery attack was fucking awesome. A bit on the easier side in terms of telegraphing. Uh, I mean, let's be real, I'm the Dark Souls professional. <laughs> joke. I'm really not. I fucking suck at these games. But hey, we've gotten a little bit better with the with the dodging and whatnot. Pretty damn cool. They had me in the first phase. Definitely. I was a little bit confused. Let's read up on this uh, Cinders of a Lord thing. Cinders of a Lord. Cinders of Lord left by the Abyss Watchers. If the Lords will not return to their thrones themselves, let them return as Cinders. The Watchers of the Abyss swore upon their shared wolf's blood, which also served as their mandate as Lords. Pretty sweet, man. Pretty sweet. And we got the soul of the blood of the wolf. Uh, the blood was spread amongst the Abyss Watchers, and their souls are one with the soul of the Wolf Blood Master. <laughs> All right. Pretty sweet, man. Let's fucking go, baby. All right. Oh, I thought that was going to be a door. Wait, so where do we go from here? Oh, shit. Okay, it is a door. <laughs> Holy. Okay, this is the next area. Door ahead. <laughs> Classic. All right, let me light this thing up, man. I'm guessing we're going into the Abyss already, because they're the Abyss Watchers. That would make the most sense, right? Oh, the, the Catacombs of Carthus. All right. All right, guys, that's going to be obviously the next area we visit. But right now, let's go to Firelink Shrine, uh, level up. And actually, we have enough to get the key. The key to the tower. I might just get that, guys. Yeah, I might just get that. Let's get it right now before I spend it like an idiot. Ah, well met, Ashen One. We also have some Umbral Ash to give her, so... Give Dream Chaser's Ashes, yes. Ashen one, what woeful umbral ash is this? You like it? This barren dust stuff of a fool won't yield aught. Oh. <laughs> Where didst thou happen upon the stuff? Tell me for the sport. Oh, shit. Well, it can't be anything too bad, right? Like, let's, let's well, just tell yes, her. I see. Okay, she's not too scared. Clinging to lofty dreams in this dying world, more's the pity. <laughs> All right. It must come from one most foolish indeed. Yes, indeed. Wouldst thou not agree? <laughs> sure. Can't tell if she's roasting me or... Anyways. <laughs> Let's purchase this key, man. Where it is. Oh, shit. Undead Legion Helm. Sick. Might have to get that case. There it is, guys. Key to the dilapidated tower behind the shrine. At last. Let's go. Well, guys, we're going to add that to the roster of next... Who the fuck is this? Uh, I know. Oh, that dude. The one guarding the blind lady. He's standing right... I just yeah. dropped in to see how she's getting on. That's awesome. Good for you. What are you playing at with this circus? This cesspool of doddering old folk and degenerates. <laughs> Fuck you, pal. These are my people. Be she must fit in perfectly here. All right, you're, you're a fucking douchebag, pal. <laughs> Guys, another connection that I made in the last episode. Hear me out, okay? Hear me out. So, she's a firekeeper, right? So, she is from the same place as Night Latrec, right? Same place where this guy's from. And Night Latrec was guarding her in DS1, or guarding a firekeeper in DS1. Uh, but his intention was to eventually kill her, right? We didn't go through that because we kicked him off a ledge, you know, the real man's way. But this guy, you know, kind of reminds me of Latrec. I think his name was Latrec. 
my memory is coming back, but it's also not. You guys know I have a problem with this. Uh, <laughs> but is this guy trying to kill her? Is this guy the Knight Lutrec of this game? Is this guy gonna kill her? Fuck, I hope not. She's not a firekeeper in this game, but anyways. <laughs> And right before we close off today's episode, guys, I just want to check in on the homie that was giving us all that strength and whatnot. Uh, let's see if he's still kicking around, man. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> no! <laughs> My boy! <laughs> what the fuck, man? Oh, pretty. Art thou good yours, master? Yes, I am. I am Yuria of Londor, a close friend of his. Oh, okay. I was Thanks about to slice to you. Your soul is redeemed. Allow me to express my gratitude in his stead. <laughs> my boy, y'all, man. Another matter. What's up? That a lord, art thou not? Mm hmm. Bearer of the dark sigil. And our Lord of Hollows. For the time thou remainst our Lord, we of Londor shall serve thee. Alright, well it seems that we didn't and break I, his course, his quest line, so. Let's fucking go, Yuri of Londor. Alright. You wanna you wanna take care of the body or should I? Alright, she's oh poison throwing knives, let's go. She got some goodies, man. Alright, guys. Wonder Braille. Oh, maybe we can give this to to my lady over there. Good stuff, guys. Well, I'm glad we uh, checked this way. Kind of a sad ending, but hey man, it is what it is. Oh, good hollow. I'm afraid I must say. What's up? Orbeca Vinheim is a cause of much consternation. He proclaimeth himself Lord of Hollows. If left alone, he may one day imperil thy rule. Classic. Fall to this matter yearly, else we are unraveled. Decisiveness is the mark of a true monarch. Damn, dude. Our Lord Amige. Knowest thou of a maid named Amri? Yes. She is hollow, and will join thee in wedlock. What? A fellow of mine guides her at this moment. When the time is ripe, thou mayst make thy salutations. What? For what lord taketh no spouse? <laughs> Should I guess? <laughs> Lady, you just showed up. Now you're telling me I gotta get married? What the fuck's going on, man? Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Dark Souls 3. If you're enjoying the series, man, make sure to smash the like button. It really helps out. Grow the community and all that. We've gained a ton of subs thanks to the series. You guys are showing me so much love. And uh, I just want to say I appreciate each and every one of you. I truly do. Well, I love making these videos. It's like my true passion and I have so much fun doing it. It'd be different if no one watched them, you know? I don't know if I would be as consistent or if I would be as excited. I'm glad that you guys are here. That's all I'm saying. So, anyways, enough sappy shit. I appreciate you all. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Peace.